witness please testify as to the events of last night. Uh, it was about uh, 8 p.m. and I went to see the sniper, but it was on the ground, not moving on. Uh, the spy, he was already there, he had just tapped the sniper. Uh, but he said he was taking the briefcase to hide it, so he went in. I tried healing the sniper with police the knacker, but it was too late. But the spy, he, he was head, head like the police cannot knacker. <laughs> <laughs> The defense may cross-examine the witness, but in English, please. Yeah, in French. The defense may cross-examine the witness in English, please. So it was about. <laughs> Not quite the right icon. Well, it is supposed to be uh, a blue syringe. So it's. Yeah. It's a blue syringe. It's a blue syringe. It's a blue syringe. No, it is supposed to be a blue syringe. It's a syringe uh, in a shape of a gun. In your mind, imagine it's a syringe. Please imagine that it is a blue syringe. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get to the cross examination. Oh, well, that's actually quite high. <laughs> Objection! You say that the uh, polyphenical was red, but uh, the syringe has a blue liquid in it. As in the picture. <laughs> Blue like a guy. Speaking German. The music's off. That's just like well, we don't. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Like you, Hans, But thank you. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's money I saved my life. He just said that you're just going to save his client. Objection! I I understand. What? Um, I must apologize to this court for the sheer idiocy this witness has demonstrated. Um, having known what I know now, I would not have brought him to the court. What? Uh, defense, do you know what Mr. Edward is talking about? Why did the witness think the challenge was red? Ah, uh, you got me. Wait, yeah. no. They didn't get you yet. Why? Why did, you, why did they think? Why did the red medic think that the syringe was red? Why? He was a Dutch I don't know what to do. Colorblind. Colorblind. Thank you. Colorblind. Wait. So it's because you are colorblind. Yeah. Yeah. You got terribly embarrassing in considering this war. But yeah, I cannot see the color. I can see the shape, but I. I cannot say if it, is, if it is blue, red, or pink. Why did you lie into the court? This is a serious offense, witness. This is a murder trial. I apologize, court. If this is a if anyone know, uh, knows that I am colorblind and, and will kick out of the Well, I'm sorry, but you'll have to live with that. Philip, this witness is in contempt of court. No, I will be on my own. I want to Then, Your Honor, I believe it is more, no more, this is a testimony. Um, objection, not so fast. I didn't want to come to this. 
But we have another witness. The scout, who was also at the scene of the crime, <laughs> and saw the blue spy. Objection! How is that relevant? Because according to the witness, the blue spy was already dead at the time of the murder. This is surprising! Mr. Edgeworth, bring us this witness! Yes, well, detective, bring him in. Can we call? <laughs> Witness, please state your name and occupation. Listen, listen, listen. You know who you're talking to, huh? Because you don't seem to know who you're talking to. <laughs> 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 Witness, name, occupation, now. Don't you talk to me like that, man. I'm a scout. I'm a scout. A force of nature. Grass girls, birds fly. I I hurt people. You are employed by the Red Army to hurt people? Yep, that's right. And brother, you have no idea just how much. <laughs> All right. Um, well, sliding that one right through, uh, please tell us about the blue spy uh, that you encountered yesterday. Oh man, stop worrying about that. He's dead. Dead in a pig in a hot dog. You know what I mean? I told him dead. What? So you admit to the murder of the blue spy? Whoa, man, chill out. It was self-defense. He was trying to get to the briefcase and stab me. I had no choice. Uh, um, uh, witness, please tell us of your encounter with the blue spy. I was hanging out in front of the briefcase room, just chilling, and then the blue spy came out of the security room pulling this crazy knife. Boink, boink, I just hit him in the head and he didn't even get a chance to get the briefcase room. Huh. And then I put him in burner and set the overdrive so he could have killed the sniper. Anyway, that guy's a total wood sniper, but it totally kicks his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the red base apparently keeps an incinerator log, uh, which records every activation of the incinerator. Um, I submit to the court. The court accepts this log into evidence, although it is hard to believe someone would want to know exactly when they incinerate their trash. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the defense may cross examine the witness. <laughs> so, so, you can repeat your first statement. Okay. I was taking out in front of three kicks and just chilling. Oh, oh. Next, can I see the map? Is that the, the map? Okay, so... This is the... W is actually F doctor. V yes. to the right. This one here. It's actually the sniper. And this is the burnt body. Of course it is in the incinerator room. <laughs> and this is actually where the scout was hanging. Is that right? <laughs> that must be it, right? Right with the chill. Okay. So you were in the corridor at that time. No. Press. When did you start chilling over there? Oh man, I don't remember exactly, but it was it's been about like hours, man. Um, the sniper's notes and um, the medic did confirm that the scout passed by a few uh, hours earlier. Then the blue spy came out of the security room pulling this crazy knife. The sniper didn't stop him? Nah, he, was, he must have been somewhere else, calling his parents or something. Uh, well, this is, this is actually easily explained when we look at the map. If you look at the map, uh, the only phones at the base are right over there in the entrance. 
all the way. So if the sniper was over there and this pipe in the bedrooms, it's definitely possible to pass in the upper corridor. Point Bob, I hit him right in the head and he felt that. Didn't even get a chance to get to the briefcase room. Isn't that murder? I can't, bro. You'll, I'll be prosecuting that one. Dude, shut up! It was totally self-defense. It was all for him and his crazy knife moves. I didn't have a choice. Uh, well, we'll see about that in your upcoming trial. Oh, man! <laughs> <laughs> then I put him in a burner and sent him over there so he couldn't have some sniper. <clears throat> I don't know what time was it exactly. I don't know, it was way before the sniper was still. Cool oh. story, bro. <laughs> Let's <laughs> add that to your death in mind. Okay, just say so. All that happened before the sniper was killed. Uh, you have to get to the next testimony for that to be added. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Yep, how did it? you see? He could have some sniper. <laughs> it is pretty good. Okay. So you present an objection? Objection! What's your objection? We say all this happened before the sniper was killed, but the estimated time of death for the sniper is 7.55 to 8.55. The incinerator report says this, it, was, uh, it happened at 8.10. That leaves a 15 minute gap where the blue spy could have killed the sniper. Thank <laughs> you. 